The Pig by Roald Dahl. In England once lived a big and wonderfully clever pig. To everybody it was plain that piggy had a massive brain. He rocked out sums inside his head. There was no book he hadn't read. He knew what made an airplane fly. He knew how engines worked and why. Nor this, but in the end, one question drove him round the bend. He suddenly couldn't puzzle out what life was really all about. What was the reason for his birth? Why was he placed up on this earth? His giant brain went round and round. Oh, alas, no answer could be found. Till one wondrous night, all in a flash he saw the light. He jumped up like a ballet dancer and yelled, By gum, I've got the answer. They want my bacon, slice by slice, to sell at a tremendous price. They want my tender, juicy chops to put in to put in all the butcher shops. They want my pork to make a roast, and that's a part will cost the most. They want my sausages and strings, they even want my chitterlings. The butcher shop, the carving knife, that's the reason for my life. Such thoughts as these are not designed to give a pig great peace of mind. Next morning, in comes Farmer Bland. A pail of pig's will in his hand, and Piggy with a mighty roar bashes Farmer to the floor. Now comes a rather grisly bit, so let's not make too much of it, except that you must understand that Piggy did eat Farmer plan. He ate him up from head to toe, chewing the pieces nice and slow. It took an hour to reach the feet because there was so much to eat. And when he finished, Pig, of course, felt absolutely no remorse. <clears throat> Slowly, he scratched his brainy head, and with a little smile, he said, I had a fairly powerful hunch that he might have me for his lunch. And so, because I feared the worst, I thought I'd better eat him first.